I'm Sophia Vialba, your community reporter in Morro Bay, where the city's fiscal year budget is $60.6 million, with $19 million of that going towards various projects within the city. I looked into what some of those improvements will look like. That is so nice to have, to know that we are going to spend that kind of money on, on helping the city uh, infrastructure. Within the capital projects, $4 million is going towards pavement management. City engineer Cindy Cecil tells me a consultant will need to evaluate the road conditions to determine which roads are in the greatest need of repair. Residents I spoke with hope certain streets are on the list. From uh, my street, Hemlock, onto Avalon, there's a big rut right there that needs fixing. In fact, I took some gravel out the other day and put it in the hole. I was so frustrated with it. On the corner of Kings and Quintana is the dispensary. And so in that area for at least a block and a half, it's super rough, not major potholes, but my coffee always spills. Construction is anticipated to start in mid-September and last through mid-November. Cecil says this is in addition to around $180,000 of pavement management work that was completed under the last fiscal year budget. I think it's real good that they will spend a little more money, money in street, street maintenance. Storm drain replacement work following damage from the 2023 winter storms is estimated to cost a total of $900,000 with $300,000 of that covered by grant funding. The storms affected many parts of the community. I lost two trees that fell over, one close to the house. My wife and I spent a couple days shoveling mud out of a couple businesses down by Morrill Creek. $28,000 of the budget will be used to help fix erosion impacting the Main Street and Morrill Creek Bridge supports and for assessments of other bridges in the city. When the creek fills up with water, it's going to have a lot of force behind it and take out areas under the bridge that normally would be fine. Uh, and so it doesn't, it, I think that's reasonable to work on that particular project. City officials tell me there are no safety issues at this time, but the bridge work is needed to avoid future issues. In Morrill Bay, Sofia Vialba, KSBY News.